What's up, Fierce Babes? It's your girl, Tasha Fierce, and I'm back with another Fierce video. watch my last tutorial you guys seen me carve pumpkins with my family my nieces my boyfriend and uh, his two sisters as well as his mom we had a lot of fun and if you haven't watched that video make sure you go watch it I will post a picture right here but it'll also be linked down below and you can always check it out on my channel um, this was the pumpkin that I created and so it's actually the same exact night and I actually wanted to recreate this pumpkin that I had seen on Pinterest and I seen it was real real popular all over the place last year and so here goes the picture off of Pinterest that we will be recreating so for this video you of course need a pumpkin so of course you would have to draw in your face or whatnot. I seen on Pinterest, the girl kind of basically uh, drew in the face and didn't cut out what she drew. Um, just drew and colored it in, painted it in or whatnot. So you'll need one pumpkin that you carve and everything. And then you'll need another pumpkin. So two pumpkins total, one that doesn't have any carving. This one actually does have some carvings because Adonis' brother did this one. However, since his mom didn't want to keep it because she has a lot of raccoons around and she didn't want to attract raccoons, um, she gave it to us. And I decided instead of using a brand new one, I could just flip it this way and uh, do what I need to do to recreate this look. Um, you'll also need a hot glue gun, the stuff to pump with, so the little pump that's going to go on there, and that one. You will need, of course, glue sticks, um, a robe to put on your pumpkin. Now, I'm just going to use my son's old robe. You think it's so cute? Um, and then I'm just going to lightly glue it so I can you know, tear it off and I'll probably still use it. A sheet of white paper, scissors, earrings, optional, and then tool. Now, I have this wreath right here, but I'm recreating a wreath on my channel as well as sharing it with you guys. So I'm just going to use the tool off of here. So to start off, we're just going to place one pumpkin on top of the other. So like so, I don't think I'm going to glue it only because I feel like um, instead of gluing it, I'm, I'd rather just place it on there. That way I can easily move it. So here goes the pumpkin right here. So that is them right here. And so I'm going to start off with my pumpkins, oops, with my pumpkin's hair. And so for the hair... I'm going to take the roller wrap and I'm just going to slightly glue them all around. But at first, I'm going to take this tool and wrap it around the roller wrap. So the tool basically will be the hair. So for the tool, I got this from the Dollar Tree. I would double it up because this is how thin they are. So just take this and put it over the other. And we're just going to take this and roll it onto the roller rat does not have to be perfect and it will look like some hair on a roller rat even how like the parts are squiggling that is fine too so take your little pins and this just secures it but it also looks very natural because you would naturally see pins in the person's hair so like so so that one will sit right there we'll have some like one right here and then of course on the side and maybe three on the side and two right here 
So I'm just going to speed up this process and just make a whole bunch of these. super simple because y'all don't have to do all this extra unraveling from a pre-made wreath but yeah I just gotta do what I gotta do to make it do what it do and then the best part of this is I'm going to glue this on super lightly to the pumpkin so all of our hair materials and our clips all saved and yeah. No materials are going to be wasted in the making of this video. It's kind of all like recyclable, <laughs> if you could say that. This is going to be so cute. And it kind of just hits close to home for me, you guys. Because I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a breastfeeding mom. And Lord, um, I know how it feels to breastfeed. It's like the greatest reward. But, um, Uh, I wanted you guys to be able to see me too. But um, breastfeeding for me is the greatest reward that I could ever give to my son and myself. Um, but it is also like a struggle because it's so time consuming, whether you're pumping or you're strictly breastfeeding. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually strictly breastfeeding. So, uh, you know, a lot of the time, a lot of my energy has to go into feeding my son. And also at nighttime, he kind of pacifies with my breast. Um, so this just so happened to hit home for me. And I just think it's super cute. And who hasn't had a roller wrap before? You know, this is just, oh, it's just, I love it. Um, and let me know if you guys want breastfeeding tips. Maybe I can do a video on that. Um, being a breastfeeding mom, especially since I struggled at first um, breastfeeding my son. But yeah, just let me know because I don't want to talk too much about it because now I'm kind of thinking, ooh, I should uh, make a video. And that would be really dope. So just roll the tool and it looks like hair on the roll wrap. Okay, take your pins. And pin down the access. So we don't even have to glue the tool to it. And when this is all said and done, just take your pins off. Super cute, super easy. And for mines, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 roll wraps. So we're gonna see if this will be enough. It's crazy because um, this is also my fun, my son's first Halloween. And it's just, I never expected to be in this type of day and age. Oh my God. And by this day and age, I'm talking about with Corona, the stuff that's going on with Corona. 
I'm thinking my son will be able to go trick-or-treating his first time. I mean, everything has changed. I know for my family in particular, we are going to be doing a Halloween party. So that's going to be super fun uh, for the kids. Uh, I think they will really enjoy it. And you guys, like, all of my boyfriend's family, they all want to do YouTube. And, uh, you know, I used to be that kid who wanted to do YouTube. When I grew up, I used to watch YouTube and I used to look at the girls like, wow, I really want to do that. And it's crazy because I kept that dream and vision to myself because I really thought it was impossible. I used to mimic the YouTube tutorials, the hair tutorials when I would do my hair. Um, and I just thought it was so cool to be a YouTuber. Like, wow, vlogging your life, teaching people how to do things. But anyways, so I'm going off subject. But um, all Adonis' nieces want to be YouTubers, and I just think it's so dope. And I just really hope that they all decide to do something within the YouTube community because they are just dope girls, period. Um, Adonis' mom already has a YouTube as well as, you know, clearly me. And her name is Faith Mr. Renee. I'll put her stuff right here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to her channel as well as mine. And then also his niece also has a YouTube channel. And her name is Anaya Denise. Put her stuff right here as well. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to her channel. Uh, I just feel like YouTube is the future. And then I just think it's dope that um, we all are going to be able to look back on these videos, not just, you know, for YouTube itself, but for our memory. And a lot of the stuff would have been documented. That is dope to me. So, yeah, let's get back into making the pumpkin. <laughs> And this way we're able to still open it. So just be careful where you position this part at. Here, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I mean. So right here, you see? So now I can still easily open because I got one on the outside and one on the inside. Get it?
both been like so far. So if you guys have over right up in the front and in the back, and real, real cute. Now we're going to do her body. So let's scoot her back just a little bit. So I'm gonna take these little sticks. I just thought of this idea. This would be cute for her boobs. And then we can put this on one boob and leave the other boob out. So. So this project is basically using a lot of the glue stick. Just making sure that's glued and I will just place that right on top. And it's cute because it looks like she has a little nipple. Okay. Let's see. These you can find at the Dollar Tree, you guys. So just take off that little piece. And it's left like this. And you see that's what I'm talking about, the little nipple. Glue this bad boy on there. So those are supposed to be her boobs. Okay, I'm going to take some of this white paper and I'm just gonna cut just a straight line. You can use the excess paper for something else, but I'm gonna take it and put it in there and it'll look like the breast milk. So, boom, it's good enough. Then unfortunately for me, this is not like the real breastfeeding, um, you know, thing. If you're a mom, you know, you know. Um, but it's gonna be like this and it's gonna be glued onto her boob. So I'm gonna have to use this little lid and just glue it on here. But if you have the right stuff, just screw it on. Be careful with this hot glue gun. Have an adult with you if you're making this. Plus you guys, this is just fun things to do with your family. I love doing this type of thing. That's why I really love that I'm a mom now because I can do these kinds of things with my family. So, I'm just gonna glue this on here like so so it looks like just like the outside rim needs to be glued so i'm going to do that now just hold it down because it seems like it needs to stick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and boom it's all in there now this is where the robe comes in and then we're going to do our earrings as well to finish off the touches of our pumpkin do you guys like the earrings on the pumpkin or what what are we thinking about the earrings? I mean, it's like, why not, huh? Oops, damn it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm probably just gonna have to glue it on like so. Now, you guys, I had these at originally. 
originally I posted the you know I was gonna wear these because I just feel like this is so like Mexican tradition you know JLo not JLo more like Queens type vibe and um I've always really liked this really since uh ATL ATL Nunu had these in her ear and I think when I was living in Atlanta uh, a lot of the girls had this just with the writing and their names and they were super cute they were less cheap than this clearly uh, but I got this when I was pregnant for a photo shoot. I was going to copy Erica Mena's photo shoot, which I'll put right here. Um, and I was going to do a remake of that. But I ended up giving birth to my son early. So I wasn't ever able to do that. But uh, yeah, that's the reason why I have these. So I'm just going to glue them onto the sides of my pumpkin. Make them look like she has earrings. And I'm just going to glue on this rope. So we have this finished pumpkin. Look, she looks so good. Oh, I forgot her earring on the other side. Let me do that. Okay, you guys. So this is her. She's so cute. So she got her boobs. She's breastfeeding. She got this little cute robe on her um, on the side. Now her head is bigger than her body, but that's okay because originally I wasn't going to do this. She has on her roller wraps. Super cute. Um, I wish there could be like a bow right here or something. I don't know. I feel like it's missing something right there. But she also has her earrings. And yeah, she is one breastfeeding mom. She is tired of breastfeeding. Ooh, I know the feeling, girl. I know the feeling. So I went ahead and just put this phone in there so you guys can see her lit up. She is super cute. Okay, so this is the finished look of my pumpkin. So I'm just going to go over her with you guys. She has on her roller wrap hairdo. She has her earrings in. She has this really, really cute robe. Look at this, you guys. Super cute. Let me pull this over a little bit more. And then she is also a breastfeeding mama. This mama is a rock star. And yeah, it's kind of like some of us, huh? So let me turn off the light. I hope that you guys enjoyed creating this really fierce mama, uh, this fierce breastfeeding mama. And I hope that you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, let me know how you guys like this video. Let me know if you guys decide to recreate this video. Follow me on my Instagram at Kiss These Curls and send me this um, look if you recreate it. Send it to my DM and I will respond. Uh, this was super fun to make. Make sure you guys watch my first um, pumpkin carving video, which will be my son's first um, time as well it will be in the description box down below as well as on my page just go to the videos and it will be on there it'll be probably like the last video i try to post every day at least for 90 days that's what i'm going to do post every single day even if it's a little late um a video will be up for you guys and yeah i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video bye fierce age